Welcome back to another Game Maker tutorial. Today we're going to have a little bit of fun do some special effects. This first special effect we're going to do is going to be like a fireworks effect. Um, we're not going to put it into an actual game or anything, but we'll show you how to do it. I'm going to start with setting up an object and we're going to use code with this. What we want this to do is we want the fireworks to display as soon as we start the game. So we're going to add a create event and we're going to pull some code into this. So I'm going to start by writing the line of code that creates the fireworks and then I'll show you how we can multiply this code and have it appear as a bunch of different fireworks going off at one time. So the effect we're going to use is effect create above and what this does is it's going to create the effect above any instance that's in the room so we would use this for an, an example if we were to create rain or something like that and game maker go, goes ahead and sets a level of negative 100,000 to this so it actually applies it above all of these instances and now we're going to add an effects of fireworks now you can see we can add smoke rain and we'll add these later and look at them and see how they can apply to the same special effects so we're gonna do fireworks and we're gonna set this to be random as far as where it occurs in the room width height and color So we'll set random width as the room width. We'll set the random height as being the room height. Now this next parameter we need to do is we need to set the size of the fireworks. Uh, we want this to be different sizes so that it appears more realistic. So we're going to set it as choose and we're going to set 0, 1, or 2 on this. So. and that will allow multiple sizes and then the last thing we need to add is the color and the way we're gonna do this is we're gonna do the make H HSV color the hue saturation and value and on this we're gonna set another random set of numbers so for the hue we're gonna do random 255. This corresponds with the 256 colors starting at 0, which is the reason why it's 255. So we'll go ahead and add that to our room. And notice we did get a fireworks effect here. However, we want to create more of that. So we're going to go back to our line of code. We know that the line of code is working now. But what we need to do is we want to repeat this code. And you can try different things here, how many times you have it repeat itself. So 
So we're going to repeat this 200 times and we'll click play so that we can see what we've got. So now to make this look a little more realistic, what we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this repeat function. And we're going to add this into an alarm. So I'm going to get rid of all of that. And we're going to set an alarm. And in the alarm, we're going to add code, which is going to be our fireworks. And then after our alarm, we're going to call for a random alarm. So this is alarm zero. And on the create function, we're going to go ahead and call the alarm zero after 10 steps. There we go. Now we can use the same code and just change the effect. So for instance, instead of firework, we can go to effect cloud. We can see now we have random clouds.